Hey guys, welcome to TechTuesday.com. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about frames per second. Um, and that literally means how many frames per second the camera is capturing. So little pictures, um, and then it gets turned into a video um, inside the camera. So we'll take a look at uh, what kind of frames per seconds there are. Um, now these are the most common ones. Uh, we've got 30 frames per second, 24, 60, and that's it. Uh, there are other ones, but uh, this is the standard uh, DSLR uh, types. Um, so <clears throat> we'll start with 24 frames per second. Um, and 24 frames per second is capturing um, a low number of frames frames uh, compared to the other ones um, so it kind of gives like a motion blur uh, effect to a movie or a video um, and it's very common in cinematography so most of the movies that you watch are going to be uh, shot in 24 frames per second um, uh, some movies like The Hobbit uh, are not shot in it uh, The Hobbit was actually shot in 48 frames per second you probably already know that um, uh, but so 24 is mainly for uh, movies um, so 30 30 is uh, good for home video or YouTube videos or uh, stuff like that like real life uh, things um, because it captures more detail or more frames uh, which makes the motion seem uh, more fluid um, and doesn't blur the images or has less of a blur than 24 frames per second. Um, and 60, uh, as you probably guessed, uh, just makes everything look a, a lot more smooth um, than 24 or 30. Uh, so I can give you a demonstration right now. Um, so let's take it to uh, 24. This is a pretty lame demonstration, but um, this is what I'm doing. Uh, now we're going to 30. And lastly, we'll go to 60. Now I tried to do it at the same speed um, each time. I may not have uh, done it exactly the same for each one um, but that might give you a little uh, an idea of what uh, the, the differences are um, so this has been my quick little video on frames per second if you'd like to learn more then leave a comment um, and subscribe to our youtube channel thanks guys uh, catch you next time